Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to Psychotronic Coast to Coast. We just did a double header of Yeti films. I guess a Yeti and a Yaoi film. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, suffice it to say, the first one was better than the second one, and I feel Absolutely. cheated. <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, I blame you for this entirely, Owen. It's, it's true. your fault. You're, you're a son of a bitch. I picked it up and read nothing about it. That's all right. And we watched right. it. To be fair, <laughs> to be fair, someone I trusted, thank, thank Shemp, I'm looking at you. I, 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 fake Shemp dot net. He's a YouTuber. He also runs the site, fake Shemp dot net. Um, that guy gave this movie a four and a half stars. What the fuck? I, you must have been higher than me, sir. This movie was not that good. Now, I imagine the budget for four thousand dollars, sure, but that's fine. Here, look, I got, I, I don't think I, can, I can't wait. I got, I just get, it's gonna come out on oh, the rant. It's gonna, you're gonna have to put this at the end. Oh my god, I, it's gonna come out. Okay, look, look, what we just watched, right? We just watched three Australians um, use their two weeks off of vacation, hence their four thousand dollars cost. Uh, and they got Vernon Wells, who probably owed them a fucking favor, or was a family friend, or was doing a friend of a friend a favor, or maybe he just, maybe he paid an event fee, and he's like, fuck it, sure, give me my event fee, pay for my lodging, and uh, pay a case of beer, and you're, we're fucking sold. And you know what? Much respect to you. I don't, I don't, I don't hate Vernon Wells for this. I have a problem with these three fo- folks that did this movie, and this is clear that it's three people who made this movie. Because there's never more than three people on screen with the camera's moving, all right? Except Vernon Wells. He doesn't count because he was a guest for two scenes. Um, he, he did one day's work, you know? Anyway, so these three f- kids, this, this is my pure con- conjecture on my part, but this, is, this has been boiling since this little whole fucking movie. These three guys, three folks, these two dudes and this chick, take their vacation time and they record a fucking movie in the woods with a, a mask and a suit and and they fucking string together some fucking wander into the woods footage for an hour, for fucking 96 minutes, okay? 96 minutes of these people walking through the woods. 96 minutes of just this fucking boring, inane nonsense of three just fucking stupid conversations, badly acted uh, moments, and mainly plotted characters who make no fucking logical sense to make all the wrong decisions, do everything possibly wrong, and not in an endearing or fun way, but in a, in a fucking aggravating and stupidly w- stupid way. The, the, the film is badly fucking shot. Badly fucking edited. I, I, I meant it at least a few times near the end. Like, you know, if they would have just cut this one shot out, that would have been the other uh, th- better. Like, he's one guy's threatening the girl with a gun, and and the yowie stand, gets up behind her, and there's a moment where his they decide to insert a cut with his eyes, but the insert of the cut his eyes is like four fucking seconds, so it needs to be a second because it's an intense moment, right? But it's four fucking seconds while his eyes sit there, wide. And then the Yowie does shit and kills him. Like, are you <laughs> fucking insane? Are you fucking... Are you insane? You broke... The, all All they had to do was uh, cut to him, like, uh, her saying that, the Yowie pops up behind him, cut to him turning around, the Yowie killing him. That's so much more intense. And yet, they, they foiled themselves in their own fucking inanity. They're, they're, we have to make it 100 we have to make it 90 minutes it has to be 90 this thing to move be, this movie need to be 72 fucking minutes if this movie was 68 minutes I wouldn't be ranking right now alright if this movie was 72, 72 minutes I wouldn't be mad but you wasted 20 minutes of my life I could have been used shitting okay I would rather have shat uncomfortably which is what I'm headed for after this podcast uh, I I would have to shit rather shit uncomfortably for twenty minutes than have to sit through this fucking movie for twenty minutes longer. Holy fucking shit! That's my rant. Okay, so Owen Neal here is. Oh, let me clear my head for a second. 
So uh, with me today, we're, uh, we're of course, Owen Neal, my uh, ever stalwart comrade in the random direct we tend to trod through. Uh, why don't you take us through the movie? I need to rant a little bit, too. Oh, okay. Hold on. Okay, you can just clip that up. That would be my lead into the next piece. <laughs> Go rant. So I got the DVD here. I actually bought it. There's a fucking tent on it. There's no tent in the movie. They also, in the back, if you remember the scene where they're sleeping by the river, the girl and the guy, they put a tent over next to them. <laughs> they did? They put a shop a tent in there? Yes. Oh, my God. They're also, the tagline is the evolution of terror is here. Oh. More like the evolution of boredom. Your movie's fucking shit. Your shit and to feel like shit for producing this shit. Make me watch this shit. I didn't pay for this shit, so go fuck your shit. <laughs> and then you got the great quotes on the back here. Exceptional. You are literally on the edge of your seat throughout. It's just <laughs> subculture yeah, entertainment. Because if I weren't on the edge of my seat, I would have fallen asleep. <laughs> it's everything you need in a good Bigfoot film, says Horror Hound Magazine. Did they take that from like another Bigfoot movie? They just took that quote from a different movie. Wait, what was the quote? It has everything you need in a good Bigfoot film. Except for a Bigfoot. Oh, yeah. Oh, see, that's taken out of context. It says everything you need in a good Bigfoot film, but instead is not a good film. That's the rest of that <laughs> sentence. That's just not a finished uh, sentence. That's fine. It's sentence right. But hey, there's an alternate ending on here. Oh, oh, God. Be Does it make the film hard. good? I'm so glad I didn't pay money for that. I almost bought that fucking movie. I also want to point out the Yowie. Jesus. Looks like they took a fucking uh, Jim Carrey Grinch mask, painted it black. I would have felt so bad having that just near my collection, even in the same room as my collection. <laughs> Renting it was off fucking Amazon was so much less painful. Three bucks, bro. It's like. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna be twelve dollars. I was gonna be twelve. I almost paid twelve dollars for that piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck me. So I was like dodging a bullet. I'll give you the the cliff notes on what the fuck was going on because most of it was garbage. Actually, all of it was garbage. But it was all garbage. It was bad. You have you have two guys going after gold. Yet they find gold. Uh, then uh, one of them turns on his friend, drowns him. He thinks he does anyways. And then there's a park ranger girl that shows up because she saw their fire they didn't put out. And then there's a yaoi shows up. And then throughout the rest of the movie is them running from a yaoi and the friend who's gone crazy, who wants the gold. Curly's gold from City Slickers. <laughs> and there's at one point... Gold. It's, 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 they were trying to be smart, maybe, or maybe it's a fucking coincidence. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to even say they're smart. They it was a fucking coincidence that it was a reference to City Slickers. Pure <laughs> coincidence. And then there's uh, randomly that old man shows up. What's his City name Slickers again? Two. Sorry. What's that guy's name? Oh, uh, Vernon Wells. Vernon Wells, Wells shows up. He's an awesome actor. I love Vernon Wells. He's been in a lot of, a lot of awesome things. This was not one of them. He's the best part of the movie, though. His two scenes are great. He's like a a cop. He thinks people are being uh, well. He's a, a cop. Yeah, he thinks people are being murdered out there by a serial killer. He thinks the crazy guy is the serial killer. Handcuffs him. Uh, Yali shows up, deheads him. And look, look, you can handle hand. You can hand Vernon well shit. Obviously, he hand was handed shit, and he can polish <laughs> that turd to gold. You know, and this guy was in Mad Max too. He's Wes in that. Yeah, and Commando he's Bennett. He's very famous for that. Uh, in um in Inner Space is Mr. Ego, and uh in Weird Science he's Lord General. So I mean, like he's had some ho pro high profile like character actor stuff, but he's a he's a full on character actor. But he's an actor of the highest caliber because I can take shit lines in polish them in the gold so to be fair here's what i would suggest don't watch this movie instead go to youtube find the vernon wells clip watch that you've seen the best part done i, I wouldn't even do that really because i think that was the best part of the movie i think that's who would even thing. clip that who would like i'm gonna clip vernon wells dude clip if no one's done it throwback. i want to do it that's what's gonna happen <laughs> i'm gonna make sure that happens and if you're gonna just clip the part where he gets killed and the, the yaoi throws his head out 
I'm gonna because I just I laughed at that. His whole fucking nah. appearance. It was fucking boring. Come on. He had the best parts though. Yeah. He was the best part of the movie. I was like intrigued, and then I was, he's off the screen, and I was back to being bored. It was literally how it was. I was bored. I was bored. I was bored. Oh, Vernon Wells showed up. Hey, this is cool. Uh, oh, Vernon Wells is dead. Okay, and bored, and bored, and bored, and it was done. That was the whole movie. I just, just it was worse. It was worse than Two Towers. <laughs> that movie was all walking. So let's fuck all the other shit. Let's jump to the end. They find some dynamite. He no one throws dies it on the, until the end. So he throws it on the ground. Uh, the always stares at it for like a fucking minute, and then he explodes. The end. It's the all rant edition of Psychotronic Coast to Coast. Look, <laughs> I, I wanted to disclaimer. I am a huge fan of low budget c- cinema. I will never shit on good, good quality Drek. We watched Phobe last week. I loved it. It's terrible on the same level, but like, there's so much more charm to that because this felt like a cheap cash grab. Meanwhile, Phobe was like, someone had $450 and said, you know what, fuck it, we're going to do the movie anyway. And that's way more charming than, than, oh, let's try to make some fucking money by making a movie real quick. Fuck you, Australian people who made this movie. You should be ashamed of yourself. As you know, the, my that's golden cool. movie rule. You can be bad, you just can't be boring. Who else said that? There's someone else has that rule. <laughs> someone famous said that, said that once. I don't remember. Anyway, you can be bad. You you can't be boring. You can be anything. You you can be terrible. You can be offensive. But you just you can't be boring. You can't. And like I said, I I love some terrible movies. I love all sorts of low quality trap. We're gonna watch Bruno Mattei films that are gonna make either either. Uh, are gonna make uh, Owen laugh out loud hysterically, or he's just gonna groan the whole time while I laugh out loud hysterically, <laughs> and uh, it, it's gonna be interesting. I'm, I mean, in- I'm, I'm quite kind of been holding off. I'm afraid. I'm afraid because I love Bruno Mattei and his fucking ins- insanity. But insanity of five hundred dollar budgets is fucking great. I, I, I just you know we haven't watched any Godfrey Ho. We haven't watched. Uh, uh, Neil Breen. Oh, God, fuck Neil Breen. We're not going to watch any of that shit. Because remember that whole boring thing? Neil Breen, that's boring. <laughs> Awful shit. Anyway, so, yeah. Fuck this movie. It's a piece of shit. Yep. There's no, it, half a star. So it's going to get on Letterboxd. I can't give yep. it no stars. I was thinking the same thing. Half a star. Don't watch it. Watch the Vernon Wells clips if you must. If you're a diehard Vernon Wells fan like me. I didn't even know who he was. Well, now you know. <laughs> I know I've seen him, but... Speaking of cash grab, Vernon <laughs> Wells. <laughs> hey, I don't blame him. Money's <laughs> money, bro. Beer's beer. So, yeah, any last words? No, I pretty much hit it all there. I mean, the only reason you'd watch this, the same reason I watched it, was I'm trying to watch all the Bigfoot movies. Or you're watching all the Vernon Wells movies. That would be it. There's Who does reasons. that? Come on. No, no, no. There are Vern- hardcore Vernon Wells. There are people more hardcore Vernon Wells fans than I am who actually have actually seen his whole filmography instead of saying they're hardcore fans and then just excitedly stumbling across his appearances like I am doing. <laughs> I am a fan, I should say. That are hardcore fans. Anyway, uh, our next uh, our next thing we're going to be all five Silent Night, Deathly Night movies. Not in a not in like one night, but one a week. Uh, Why not? Silent Night, Deadly Night. That's only one and two. Yeah, three and four and five are on the shelf over there still. So I have only not seen five. I've seen the other. <laughs> I have not seen a single one, but I own all five of them because they kept going out of print. So as soon as I saw them, I'm like, yes, mama. Yes, papa. I want both of you. I'm kind of surprised you hadn't seen the first one because I I watch that one every year, man. You know what's funny? I say I haven't seen it, but I could be watching it and go, oh, it's this movie. That's happened to me twice, at least on the (laughs) show, you know? And remember, I was the other day we were talking. What, what we were we talking about? Oh, Bigfoot. There's a kid children's Bigfoot movie. And I was like, yeah. it's not. It's not Little Bigfoot one and two. I know it's not. I've never seen either of those, right? I've like, seen a kid's Bigfoot movie, and then it reminded you 
that I didn't put one on my list that I'd seen yet. And Bigfoot, that was the, the one I had seen, encounter. which is crazy because there's probably at least 10 kids' Bigfoot movies, I, I bet. Which has, like, McCoy, I think his name is it. He's the main guy in Abominable. Mm-hmm. He's also in Little Bigfoot. Mm. So he's, like, tied with Lance Henriksen for Bigfoot movies. Nice. Man, this was, like, our best fucking episode. <laughs> We're done with this episode. There you go, guys. See you, uh, see you next week for Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 1. And uh, we might continue doing double bills in the future. It's not going to be every every week, but, you know, every now and then. That'd be nice so we can get ahead because there's so many movies we want to watch. So, yeah. Take it easy, folks. Bye-bye.